We're here with Adam Lockhart, strength and conditioning coach with Crash Conditioning. Adam, you've got some uh, special players in here today. Who you got for clients today? Uh, so today we've got Keon Raymond, he's a defensive player with the Calgary Stampeders, and then uh, Dan Federkeel, offensive lineman uh, with the Stamps. Uh, Dan's doing a pretty heavy uh, leg day. He's just now getting to the end of it, so you, you kind of miss some of his heavier squats <laughs> he was doing. He's pretty fatigued now, he's tired, but um, he's doing that. Uh, Keon's going to be doing some speed stuff. He's just warming up. He's doing some hip mobility right now. And then once he's done that, we're going to get into a little bit of skipping drills and into uh, some sprints, some acceleration work. So obviously with him being a defensive back, we've got to make sure that he's uh, pretty quick and uh, that's what we're going to be working on. So when he's in here, especially right now on the Monday, that's, that's the main focus for him. It's acceleration work and trying to be fast and mobile. So that's what he is. And then Dan being a big boy, he's uh, trying to do a little bit of strength stuff. Right now, this is actually just more for a little bit of hip mobility for himself. So these are actually two different, you can do this as a heavy strength lift, but he's just doing this at, towards the end of the workout just to kind of get his hamstrings back and, and, uh, and glute, glutes that uh, posterior chain, the back part of his body to open up a little bit. So he's just doing some, uh, some light RDLs to finish up. But, but uh, yeah, that's what we're working on now. So how does training for a hockey player differ from for training for a football player? Uh, for a football player, they have a lot. Uh, they have a lot longer uh, rest periods. They need to have a little bit more explosiveness. Um, hockey players, absolutely, they got to be explosive, but their fitness level definitely has to be uh, a lot higher. Um, so you could almost call that their work capacity. They're going to be in 45 second shifts. They're going to have you know anywhere from 45 seconds to a minute and a half rest. These guys are going to be anywhere from you know five to eight seconds of hard explosion, and then they've got about 40 seconds rest. So. Um, strength is definitely a component that uh, the football players have on hockey. They're going to be a lot stronger overall and they're going to have to be a lot more explosive and, and quicker for those 5-8 seconds. Um, so that's going to be a big thing. So the, the two movements that these guys are working on, like Keon doing some of that hip mobility stuff right there, we'll still do that with hockey players. They've got to have incredibly mobile hips. and um, So we'll still do drills like this and, and absolutely they're going to be doing RDLs, squats, the same kind of movements. So give us an idea how often these guys are training and for how long. I'm going to guess that they go a little bit longer than our typical or my mm -hmm. typical gym visit. Uh, yeah, they'll typically be in here for a couple hours at a time. And there's days where Dan, some of his workouts with the movement we do, so the sprinting or the agility work, followed by the weight stuff. He's going to be here for, you know, three hours. Um, uh, typically, I'd say the weight portion of what these guys do is going to be about 90 minutes, uh, maybe 60 minutes, 60, 60 to 90. With the movement stuff, the sprinting, the agility stuff we do, it'll take it to about the three hour mark. So that's pretty standard. And they're gonna be doing that anywhere from three to five times a week, along with some recovery days in between. So it kind of depends on the cycle, time of year, where they're at, but that's a typical week or a typical day, yeah. What's it like working with the Grey Cup champs? Good, it's awesome. It's, <laughs> it's been really exciting the last couple of years, especially to see some of these guys when they come in here and they work hard. To be able to see them have success on the field is unbelievable. It's awesome, you know, that, that's what you wanna see is you wanna see people get benefits out of what they do, right? Whether they're just, you know, general population people working out or whether they're performance athletes. So it's awesome to be able to see them do uh, or have the success that they want to uh, from the hard work that they do in here. That's awesome. great. Thanks for this, Adam. Yeah, no problem. Stay with us. We'll have more Go Calgary after this.